when I work with couples. An issue that arises very often is that of the female partner losing her sex drive and her interest in sex. This is obviously not the case of every single couple, but it comes up often enough to wonder what's really behind it and whether women actually like sex. Hello everyone, my name is Helena Nista and I am a sex therapist and a Tantra practitioner. I make videos about great sex, legendary pleasure, about Tantra and passionate relationships. So if you would like to learn more about these topics, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and also hit that bell icon to be notified whenever I post. Okay, let's talk about women and sex. I guess the topic of female sexual desire and her sex drive is very close to my heart because in many of my past relationships, I was the one who was struggling to keep up with my partner's libido. It seemed that he frequently wanted sex and that not a lot of things would reduce his desire for a regular intercourse. For me, however, things were much more tricky. For a variety of reasons, I would struggle to desire sex or to feel aroused in the act. And since arousal and lubrication are very important components of a satisfying intercourse, I would often experience pain or discomfort during sex, which was then making it more tricky for me to desire it. And so it was a bit of a vicious cycle in this way. So do women actually like sex or do they prefer to forget all about it? The short answer is yes, women do like sex. More than that, women have a deep capacity to love sex and to enjoy incredibly mind-blowing orgasms. Some say that even much stronger than male orgasms. In fact, woman's body is deeply sensual and her erotic potential is rich, multi-layered and blissful. But there's a number of factors that need to be taken into account here. In any romantic relationship, a sexual connection is very strongly linked to the emotional connection. And so it's very hard to want to have sex if at the same time you're thinking, he wants to have sex with me after what he did. Accumulating resentment is something that happens in all relationships. And if we don't take care of these emotional issues, they're only going to get deeper. This is why taking care of your emotional connection first is an absolute must to nurture and cultivate a healthy and passionate intimacy in the bedroom. This means talking about any emotional hurt or disconnect. It means taking, actively taking care of each other's needs in order to create that sense that you are there for each other no matter what. When that kind of emotional connection is nourished and maintained, it'll be much easier for her to feel sexual desire for you. Most modern women grew up with some kind of unhealthy conditioning around sex. Many women still believe that there's something inherently wrong about wanting, desiring or enjoying sex. There's still that unhealthy disconnect between a woman being a mother slash wife uh, and a sexual goddess. While the truth is that women can be both at the same time, she doesn't need to repress her lust and her eroticism in order to play well her role in the family. But women need to recognize that first in order to overcome this conditioning. About one in five women has experienced sexual abuse at some point in her life. And almost all women know someone closely who is a victim of sexual assault. Sexual wounding and trauma, whether physical, emotional, spiritual, or mental, can leave a powerful mark on the victim for many, many years, which will keep interfering with her sexual expression. Sexual trauma can be treated, but in most cases, it will require support of a qualified therapist. So it's crucial to understand the impact of her past on her current libido and sex drive. A lot of women don't actually understand their bodies and needs when it comes to their sexuality. Many women have watched porn and tried to have sex like men, but this is a problem because men and women are different when it comes to their sexual response. On top of that, these women typically don't know what to ask for in bed, and so they get poor quality sex. And so when their male partners don't understand how to truly satisfy a woman, and they try to concentrate on their own needs or how they as men want to have sex, that just creates a very unfulfilling experience for the woman. What's connected with that is that many of these women don't masturbate consciously or don't masturbate at all. And hence they don't really understand their own erogenous zones or how to activate them. While women who regularly touch and explore their bodies, women who take the time 
to self-pleasure and to activate their eroticism and women who can give themselves full body expanded blissful orgasms this kind of women can have much more fulfilling sex with their male partners because these women know what to ask for they know what they need in bed and so they can create sexual experiences that are much more satisfying and nurturing for them please let me know in comments below whether you resonate with this topic and what your experiences have been when it comes to female sex drive whether you're a man or a woman i'm very curious to hear if you've ever struggled with uh, sexual desire and what you did about it if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in my next video.